Hey everyone, I'm Cassie Brevue filling in for Seth today on the AI show and you are not going to want to miss this episode. We are going to be talking about Azure containers uh, for training with PyTorch and Azure DSVM. Let's take a look. So joining me today is Parnita. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, Cassie. Nice to be here. Um, I'm Parnita Rahi. I am a PM in the Azure Platform team. Um, so glad to be here to talk about the new container for uh, PyTorch that's now available for, uh, on Azure. Cool. Can you tell me a little bit about what this um, container is? Sure. So, um, you know, data scientists, ML engineers, et cetera, um, generally when they have um, a, a training workflow, um, of, you know, for, for large models, uh, one of the challenges that they face is, you know, what are the different uh, dependencies, binaries, et cetera, et cetera, I need to get installed uh, to have a, a, a ease of setup. This mm -hmm. container helps um, developers, scientists kind of set up, uh, develop, and accelerate, um, you know, training workloads um, meant for, uh, you know, large, large workloads like GPUs uh, for their PyTorch models. It's now available on Azure uh, as, um, as a container, as a curated environment, as well as a DSVM. Um, so it's, it's available for like ease of download and you, know, you, can, you can get started very easily for any of your training uh, work needs. That's really cool. So basically I'm able to create a DSVM or data science um, virtual machine um, or use the container. Um, and now is the container in part of Azure Machine Learning? Um, can I use it there as well, right? Yeah, it's 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 something that you can go to the Azure ML Studio and you know in the curated environment section, uh, you can easily go and and look it up and and get started. So it's it's a pretty pretty simple workflow that you can now use with uh, um, Azure ML. Cool. So you mentioned some of the people that are using this are engineers. So it's like the ML engineers, data scientists. Like who are the main kind of um, roles that are going to be leveraging uh, this container? Um, as as I mentioned earlier, um, it's primarily for data scientists. It's also for like large enterprises who have training workflows on PyTorch. Um, imagine somebody who has like an NLP um, uh, modeling workflow uh, for uh, uh, you know language models or text and speech models who generally use PyTorch and um, have dependencies uh, to kind of get that set up. Uh, those are the ideal candidates uh, who will benefit from this uh, this container. What are some of the benefits of using this pre-configured container versus you know something that they would set up themselves? Well, you know, when you get started, um, uh, especially with the different versions you have uh, of, let's say, PyTorch or uh, you know Python or mm -hmm. or CUDA um, and other like essentials that that needs to you know. For you to like set up your training workflow, figuring out which version is compatible with what, what are the dependencies, all of that can take uh, you know a lot of like back and forth in figuring out like bugs, etc. This container, what it does is it has your essentials required for training. So it has uh, you know the, the the version of Ubuntu set up with like CUDA or Rockm, depending on which uh, driver you use, uh, with the with Python versions and the latest PyTorch versions pre-validated and pre-installed. Um, and it's again, tested and uh, with uh, a, a, a suite of um, Microsoft internal 1P workloads. So it has been pre-verified. So it, it basically takes away a lot of the pain uh, that scientists, engineers, et cetera, have to go through while, while starting off with their new training um, scenario. So you just kind of go get it from Azure ML and get started. That's that's pretty much all you need. And uh, in addition, what it also provides is a bunch of these training optimization uh, libraries. Uh, you might be familiar with uh, ORT, uh, which is you know uh, used for accelerating training of like large transformer uh, models in PyTorch. Um, so you can leverage ORT because it's kind of pre-packaged within this container. You can also leverage uh, Deep Speed, which is uh, a deep learning optimization library, um, which makes like training easy and effective. Um, there is also like MSQL, which is a collective communication library that Microsoft Open Source provides. That's bundled within this container. 
um, and and these are just a few that I'm naming. That there is a whole lot that you can that you can use. So it's it's kind of um, packaged with us looking at these um, 1P training scenarios and what does it take for a normal workload to be effective, uh, to like uh, to get started easily, to to have uh, optimization, especially since you're running these on GPUs, you would look at training optimization. So um, you know all of that is kind of bundled in. Um, for for ease of uh, setup and and uh, you know uh, acceleration. Awesome. So I'm going to be able to now train my models faster and set up my training faster, and then maybe we'll le leverage this on Azure resources. Um, and then there's that cost savings that comes along with well because it takes or comes along with it as well because it takes time to set up these containers, right? So there's less less time for that. But then also uh, you're going to train your models faster, so you're going to save money on your cloud computing bill as well, right? That's true. Like like in, in a lot of like hugging, I mean, as I mentioned, these are optimized uh, faster training. So your your uh, time to compute or time to train uh, goes down significantly. We have seen like uh, 45 to 85 percent um, improvements if, wow. with some of our hugging face models. Um, and since, I mean, like you said, it, it's also help helping, it helps you like, you know, reduce your um, compute costs as well. So it has all of these um, pre-built packages configured together, ready to use. Um, can I customize it to add some additional packages that might be specific to my model training? Yeah, so I think uh, uh, Jessica will, will give a deep dive uh, in a later session, but uh, there are two ways in which you can use um, these curated environments. You can use them as is, like if you just want to start with something and you don't have other dependencies that you need, which is uh, like already not captured within the workflow, then you can just get started with the curated environment uh, from the Azure uh, ML Studio. However, you can also use this as a base to get started with any additional dependencies you may have. So you can get this environment downloaded it and then then install um, any additional dependencies. It's it definitely minimizes your steps. Um, uh, however, yeah. Um, is there anything else you want to share about this container? Generally, like if you have you know. Um, Fast, like if you're looking for faster training, if your workloads, uh, you know, with uh, with uh, larger models, um, you want to get started uh, without having to spend a lot of time uh, for setting up, because this is an as-is pre-installed uh, package, and, and it can also help you scale because you know you can share within the enterprise, uh, you can easily share it with a lot of your engineers to get started without uh, them having to like worry about these dependencies. And then if you have a workflow on Azure, I think it, these are definitely like some of the criterias wherein you need to like consider um, this container. In addition, what it also provides is because this is on the latest um, PyTorch version, our teams will continue to provide support uh, and expert troubleshooting and guidance for the latest PyTorch build. So if you're thinking about, you know, having a uh, any questions uh, addressed as as you start off your uh, training journey, uh, or you know uh, Azure support, all the goodness that comes with it, um, it is provided through this uh, container. Um, the other thing is, uh, as I already mentioned, like you know all of these um, ML packages uh, that are open source are are tested and against a suite of uh, ML workflows within Microsoft. You are you're basically like leveraging all of the goodness uh, and saving time and saving costs. So. All good things here. All right, thank you so much for joining us today, Pranita. Next up, we're going to talk to Jessica, and Jessica is going to show us some demos of this container in action. All right, now we are joined by Jessica, and she is going to tell us a little bit about how Azure Container for PyTorch works. Jessica, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, and thanks for having me. My name is Jessica Chaffee. I am a product owner on the Azure AI platform working with the training group. And for this effort, I've been really focusing on connecting the Azure Container for PyTorch and our curated environments that we currently offer on Azure AI. Awesome. Well, I'm certainly excited uh, to see this in action since we've been talking about it. So let's get your screen shared. Awesome. So why don't you show us how it works? Sure. So when you enter your workspace in the Azure Machine Learning Studio, you can go down to this environments option in the menu on the left side and clicking that will bring you to a view of the different environments that we have. 
So at the top here, we have both curated environments and custom environments. Curated environments are environments that we have put together. Um, they contain a lot of dependencies and accesses that you guys would want to have when you're running your deep learning uh, training. And we kind of put that all together for you so you don't have to worry about going and trying to find, oh, does this version match with this version of the software that I run, want to run? We have all that for you and uh, you are able to use that pretty easily. So initially when you do come to this view, there is a very long list of all the different options that we have here. We have different versions of different OSs that are there. We have uh, uh, different CUDA versions that you could use as well. So searching for Azure Container for PyTorch or if you do ACPT for short, you will see our two newest options here. The first one here is for CUDA version um, 11.3. And the second one would be for CUDA version 11.5. So currently we have those two offerings out for the ACPT curated environments. Awesome. So these were just added. Um, and so they're brand new for people to try out. And then there was also, like you showed, there's a lot of other environments there that I can use. So I can use these within Azure Machine Learning. Um, can you show us a little bit about how I might use these? Yeah, absolutely. So. When you want to run a job, you can opt to choose a environment to run that job with. So if we go here to this jobs option, it will bring up a menu where you can run jobs. If you click new here and then go to jobs down at the bottom, you'll be brought up with a create a training job menu where you can go through and select your options. So I will click to do a compute cluster and click my cluster that I have here. Then moving over for the environment type as the second option, you can choose between curated environments and the options will populate below like we just discussed, or you can choose a custom environment, which would be something that you'd customize to your specific needs. So for this one, we'll go with our curated environment. And if you expand the option here, you can see all the different information. So since this is our CUDA 11.3 GPU version, you can see that it's version one because it is brand new. Um, so I will select this one as our environment. Clicking next, you'll be able to configure your job settings. Um, so you can change the name of your job, your experiment name, and then upload your code accordingly. So I will upload a folder that I have here. Um, and then I will click the folder, upload my code, click upload again, and it will upload the code that I have in that folder. And then to start the job, you have to enter the command. So I will just type in python train.py to make sure that file runs. There are additional options at the bottom for any inputs and outputs you want to add, training applications, environment variables, all these things that you can do to customize your job. I'll click PyTorch here and then click next. And then this last page here in the menu is just where you can review the job specification to make sure that you set everything the way you want. Your compute is set up and what you were expecting, the different settings that you set. So the name, the experiment, things like that, the command that you want to run to run the training. And the environment you can see here is our new Azure container for PyTorch, the CUDA 11.3 version. So going with that, I will click Create. And just like that, your job will be started. Cool. So is there any kind of updates that I need to make to my script that I that I upload there? Or can I take the just the, the script that I was using, you know, maybe locally for testing and, and put it up on this container? You should be able to. The only thing that would be important to note is that there, if there are specific libraries that you want to make sure that uh, align with the code that you're running, you could actually use this image that we have as a base image and customize it to make sure that the libraries are included to, for your specific project. Cool. So I can take this and use it as like a base environment and then um, install the additional libraries that I need to customize this curated environment? Yes, exactly. Cool. Are we going to see that? Are you going to show us how to do that? Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. So I will bring us back to the environments menu. And like I mentioned earlier, we have the curated environments option at the top, which all of which are all of our preset options. And then I can open up one here and kind of just show a little bit more of the details in the Docker file here. So 
you can see the properties kind of lined out for you here on the left. And on the right, you can see the base image at the top and then some of the dependencies that we include. So if these are all that you need to run for your project and nothing is missing, you can use it just as is. But if you would like to customize it for yourself, all you would need to do is copy this here, and then you would be able to go to Custom Environments and click Create. So for here, pick a name. I'll just name it My Environment. You can add a description if you'd like, or from the Select Environment type, you can either start from an existing environment if there is something that you already have running in our system, or you can create a new Docker context and use the image. So from the customize menu, there are, you can see some pre-populated information here. So all you would need to do is remove the image that we have here and replace it with the ACPT image. So as you can see, it's the CUDA 11.5 version, um, PyTorch. And then Underneath here, you see we have run pip install Azure ML dash ML flow. You can change this ML flow to be whatever you need. If you need transformers, you can pip install transformers. And here you can adjust all the dependencies that you have on top of the base image that we're already providing. So you're able to customize this however you need to best fit your training experiments and experience. That's awesome. So you can leverage all this work that's been done to create this container. Um, that's pre-ready, but then when you just need to add like that little tweak to what you need, it's really easy. You just create a custom environment, import that um, container, and then add your pip installs. Yep, and you use it the same exact way when you're setting up a job. So instead of just selecting curate environment, you switch to the custom environment and pick the one that you named. It's that simple. Super cool. So what are some of the reasons I might use the curated environment or instead of an environment that I was using previously, or the new, so the new environment? Yeah, so this new environment comes with a lot of performance speedups. So by utilizing the best of Microsoft technology for uh, deep learning and uh, distributed training, um, such as DSpeed, Onyx Runtime, um, even FairScale, um, the combination of those options and enabling those when you're using your environment, you can actually see per performance speeds from 48 to even double sometimes from your previous runs. So I actually do have an example of uh, an, an example of this performance increase on some previous runs. So cool, here is it. yeah a GPT run of a uh, NLP training operation. You could see it was completed in four hours and thirty seven minutes using the baseline. If we look at the deep speed by using our curated environment, you can see that the total runtime decreased to an hour and 42 minutes. Yeah. That so is amazing. It went from over four hours to a little over an hour and a half. That's about a 2.7 times speed increase for the same training job utilizing our new environment. That's awesome. So that's time saving, like if you need to retrain things and money saving on um, the compute resources. Oh, absolutely. Um, which compute was used for um, this training? You know what, let's, let's double check. So I should be able to go to compute, go to the clusters, and we can see this is an NT24 SV3. And I should be able to click here and see some additional information. Yes, yeah, so this is a NVIDIA V100. Well, that was some impressive performance improvements just by updating to the new uh, curated environment. Is there anything else you want to tell us about the uh, new environment? Yeah, so the environment is currently in public preview. You can learn more at our Microsoft Azure Machine Learning documentation. Um, so we'll share that link below here. Go ahead and check out those documentations to learn more. And Ignite is coming up as well. Is there anything um, exciting happening um, with these environments at Ignite? Yes, so we'll actually be talking a little bit more about some of the updates and the improvements that the environments have seen at Ignite during our uh, deployment. So definitely check out Ignite to learn some more. Great. Well, I am will be setting my calendar to be at Ignite. Well, I'm speaking at Ignite, so I will also know that it's happening. But <laughs> everyone else <laughs> should set their calendar um, and go check out this session uh, so they can learn more about these curated environments. Thanks so much uh, for hanging out with us today, Jessica. Thanks so much for having me.